what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an OU to your Pokemon Showdown battle. And this is a new team I came up with here. It's a sand team as you can see by the Hippowdon. And basically the way it works is when I'm facing other weather teams such as sun and rain, which are really the only other kinds of weather you'll see in this tier, uh, my Gothitel comes in, traps it, and since it's max HP, max special defense, it will just toxic stall the Politoed or Ninetales, and then I will basically just win the Weather War from there. But as you can see, this is not a Weather War here. I am facing a rather offensive team, as you will see. Other than what you see, we both have Skarmory's. And basically, Skarmory is a key player in this game. It's going to add up a bunch of hazards, and basically whoever can pressure the other person more for not switching out and you know just getting free kills since they don't want to take too much damage from hazards will be the winner so there are a ton of threats on his team there's a bunch of threats on my team let's see who wins so the opponent starts out with skarmories they start out with a Poudon just to get my weather up and he goes for the stealth rocks right away so that means he probably has all of his hazards on the skarmory here and so I go out to Gastrodon right away as I want to take out that Skarmory as soon as possible because I do not want it phasing out any pokes. So I do go for the Skulls and I will eventually be able to take it out, get no burn, but that really doesn't matter. So that's a dead Skarm now and you'll see Gastrodon is a bit of work here. It lives a Psy Shock very nicely even though I have no defense investment and two Ice Beams will easily take out this Latios while Gastrodon is still alive and somewhat well. But yeah, now Gastrodon is basically done as the Weavile now comes in and Weavile is quite the threat. It's fast, it's powerful, it's a glass cannon though. So it's definitely a threat to this team though, so I gotta be careful. I have Skarmory here to try walling it, and so I do scare him out, but he goes into Magnazone, and well, I kind of forgot about Magnazone, which is a bit of a problem, as since he has Magnet Pull, and he is Specs from what I'm seeing here. That's a lot of damage. Now here's a key play. I go for the Whirlwind, thinking he's gonna switch out to save his Magnazone, but no, he stays in and that Magnezone is still alive with some really nice HP. So the Weavile comes in, which is no big deal, because I can just slack off. But the thing is, Magnezone is still alive. He can come in, go for the Spec Stab Flash Cannon. I barely live, and the Earthquake will, of course, easily take out the Magnezone. But the key thing here is Hippowdon is at low HP, and it's my physical wall. So Caesar is now even more of a threat. Now here's the thing, though. I trap in Gengar, and I'm just hoping to survive this. I barely do. Thank you, Special Defense Investment. And I can take him out with a Psychic, but I die from the Sandstorm. Now here's the situation. I'm like, okay, hopefully he's banded. That way he's locked into Bolt Punch or U-Turn. But I go for the Focus Blast, and he goes for the Sword Stance. Amazing play on his part. Amazing set on that Caesar for his team. As my Gengar easily goes down to the bullet punch. And even though I'm max HP, max defense on this Reuniclus, the U-turn will take me out. And he will win the, with the 1-0 victory. So that was an amazing battle, Dark Gengar. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I haven't uploaded a loss in a while, so I thought you guys might appreciate this. As now you can learn from my mistakes. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like this team. I really like it. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later.